Did you know that the guy who discovered exogenous insulin sold his patent for one dollar? Because he believed that people with type 1 diabetes shouldn't have to pay through the nose to get their medicine. This is back then. I'm John Laspina, I'm your carnivore teacher, and today we're going to talk about that guy. He believed that it's like knowledge. The world should have this because people are dying. Type 1 diabetics will die if they don't get external insulin. They just will because insulin opens the cells to let the nutrition in. If the cells never open up, the cells starve. You starve to death, you die. Type 2 diabetes is completely different. We do that to ourselves through lots of starch and sugar over a long period of time, and we're actually making too much insulin, but the insulin receptors are resistant to opening up. So we have to throw more insulin at it, and it's a, this vicious cycle. Now, don't you think that the proper human diet, all the knowledge that I'm offering you, that Dr. Ken Berry is offering you, that Dr. Robert Sivas is offering you, that Dr. Anthony Chapey is offering you, Dr. Sean Baker is offering you on YouTube, they're not getting paid by you out of your purse or wallet for that information because it's free. Now, they may be getting YouTube money and some of those people have products that they sell on their YouTube channel. I'm talking about you watch a video, you get the knowledge. You turn the video off, you now have the knowledge. Knowledge is free. Knowledge is power. And just like the guy who invented insulin that saved millions of lives, you can save your life with this free knowledge of how to eat the proper human diet, which is our ancestral way of eating. Learn the facts about what we're supposed to eat as humans. Ever since the dawn of man, all the way up through the, the millennia, the centuries and the decades to 1880 AD, we had been eating beef, lamb, pork, poultry, fish, and eggs. We cooked in only animal fat. Now, there may have been some fruit in there. There may have been some vegetables in there, but it was the wild kind. It wasn't altered. It wasn't modified. It wasn't hybridized too much. We had no seed oils. We hunted, we fished, we farmed. Everything was one ingredient food that we may have combined, but we had no ultra processed food. We had no packaged food. We had no boxes and packages with barcodes. We didn't have that stuff. We also had no heart attacks and no diabetes back then. It's true. All that started after 1880. And what happened then? Industrial Revolution, refrigeration, electricity, all this stuff started coming in, transportation, and the processed food industry started happening. And we, now we have this, this stuff, I call it stuff, the stuff that's out there in the store, in the center aisles, this stuff, this food-like product is not what we originally ate for millions of years, hundreds of thousands of years. It's chemicals, and colors and additives and preservatives, and it's just disgusting. And it's actually addictive, and we want more and more because it tastes good. Going back to before 1880, eat that way today. You can easily push your shopping cart, fill up your cart with ground beef, with some steaks, with some chicken, with some bacon, with some other pork, with some lamb, some sausages, right? push a little further. Oh, look, there's some more stuff. Oh, look, here's the, oh, look at that fish and take this fish and that fish. Some are in cans, some are frozen, some are fresh through the counter. Get some wild caught fish, get some pasture raised eggs. If you want to buy milk, get whole milk and not skim or one or two percent. If you want to buy yogurt or kefir, get the plain vanilla or a non-flavored whole fat yogurt and just understand that that's food. It's not food-like products. That stuff's food. That's not stuff. It's food. It's nutrition. And you'll be healthier for it. You will. So I end my video asking you to uh, send me some comments or questions about this video. I'll answer any of them that you have. Click the thumbs up while you're here. If you liked it, send it to your friends and family. And I uh, hope you have a really good day. I know I will.